Hey guys, my name is Shazi Hussain and uh, today we're going to be talking about self-help books and do they actually work? Now, there are lots of people that are trying to better themselves, you know, wanting to change their destiny, hoping to find true love, some trying to get over someone, some want to gain more money, and some are just trying to get over a phobia. A lot of these people believe that in order to finally get what they want, they need to better themselves. And since, obviously, if they already have if they already had that factor, they would have already acquired those ones, right? Now, you know how they say that in order to change the world, you must first change yourself? Well, seems like a lot of people want to change themselves. Now, many of these people refer to self-help books. Now, self-help books, books that teach you how to make a better you. Now, they teach you how to be more intelligent, more charming, and charismatic. They teach you how to introduce, uh, they, they teach you how to induce leadership qualities in yourself. If you're an introvert, they teach you how to be more social. Get into, uh, go into a bookstore and you find tons of them, like everywhere. And on every topic you can think of, I mean, whether it's like cooking, whether it's of, you know, going out, you know, being more social, whether if you want to get over, if you just want to face your fears, but you have everything. I would be successful, I would be a millionaire. It doesn't matter. I'm sure that you've seen one of those, um, you know, I, almost everybody's seen one of those, you know, the Four Dummies self-help books. Now, I don't know if you've guys seen that movie, um, you know, what was the name? Um, School for Scoundrels, yeah. In that, you, you know the actor Billy Bob Thornton, he, he says, I mean, and I kind of agree with him over there, you know why you can't help yourself? Because yourself sucks. And that kind of makes sense, because if you, if you were already good at it, you would have been, you, you've been doing those things. I mean, you would have done those things a long time back. But you can't help yourself, because if you, if you did, you know, I mean, you, you just can't, because you need a teacher. If you, if, you, if you could, you would have done it a long time back. But anyway, now, and that's what just got me thinking, that do these self-help books really work? Or is it just another money-making gimmick that you know we, the gullible people, fall prey to these false promises of you know being millionaires and rich and successful? Anyway, now, but how many have actually gone on to become the successful millionaires, or those self-help books that promise you to make you into a social butterfly in like ten days? Yet those people still barely manage to make small talk with someone. I mean, they go somewhere, they meet somebody, and it's like, hey, what's up? Yeah, man, doing good. You? All right, all right. So, yeah. But how many have actually gone on to become those successful millionaires? I mean, or, you know, those self-help books that promise you to, to, to make you into a social butterfly in 10 days, and yet those people still barely manage to make small talk with someone. I mean, think about it. I mean, it's like, it's like, just like, hey, what's up, man? Doing good? Yeah. Yeah, so um, what's been going on? All right, man, I'll, I'll see you later. Then nice meeting you again. But that's just how it is. I mean, you know, I mean, they, 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 they teach you. They have all these step-by-step, -step, seven steps, and, you know, you'll be the greatest uh, orator in history. But, but that just never works. I mean, at least from what I've witnessed, right? Now, think about it. Look at it this way. You have a subject. Take math, for example. You're good with numbers, yet you still need a teacher to teach you how to use those numbers. I mean, I mean, you're, you're reading, right? You're reading, but yet you're not getting the hang of it. You need, some, you need a third party to come in and teach you those things. And that's pretty much how it is. Because similarly, if someone is having issues with, say, public speaking, you have the tools to deliver a speech, but you need a teacher to guide you how to overcome that fear, stage fright, for example. A teacher who shows you the practical method, who creates an environment for you and tests you with what you've learned so far. Now. That's all the experience that you're getting. Now, self-help books, however, is a written document by someone who has, who has done those things, who has already gained experience from it. I mean, if, if you, don't you think that it's better to make your own mistakes, to learn something for yourself? I mean, at least go out there, put yourself out there, try. If you don't succeed, it's all good. But at least try, right? I mean, if you need to overcome anything, you need to do it yourself. All, I mean, all these seven steps or ten steps to be a millionaire or to do this or to do that, yada, yada, it, I just don't see it working. Now, I, for one, have never been able to completely grasp a concept in school just simply just by reading. I mean, you can read, but you still need something to teach you. Now, this brings me to my point. Are these self-help books actually a way to make money of, uh, out of people who feel bad, who have these insecurities, these complexes, or do they actually work? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that these books don't work at all. 
but or, or they don't help people. I'm sure everyone takes something from these books, and you know they can apply to their daily lives, or you know how or, or however the author meant it to be used. But it just seems that if you really want to improve yourself, one should learn from someone who had who had already had those problems and find out how they overcame those obstacles. Maybe they could teach them. Maybe they could create that environment for them. You know, maybe. And, and just be like a little staging, but at least something to actually get them moving on, right? Now, if you don't have enough experience, I say learn from someone else's, because that's like a treasure trove of experiences, you know? So what do you think? I mean, have you ever bought a self-help book, or did, uh, did, it, did it help you? Or do you just think it's a way to make money? Just uh, so you know, just let us know. And uh, thanks again. I'm Shahzeb Hussain, and you guys can uh, follow me on Twitter at uh, Shahzeb underscore Hussain. All right, thank you.